This is Artifacts from Mars, and this is your morning update from Mexico, New York, which is somewhere near Syracuse, I'm assuming Syracuse.com reported it. Uh, quarterback Dante Turo ran for a 73-yard touchdown against Verona, Vernon, Verona, Cheryl, on October 17th. And he made the big mistake of pointing towards the sky. That's all he did. He pointed towards the sky after he ran into the end zone. He was penalized by a high school official, 15 yards, his team was, and that cost him the game. So, here we have a clear cut example of an organization basically enforcing godless atheism on students. So, it's not limited to the classroom. I'll give you the, uh, by the way, I'm an agnostic. I'll give you the name of the uh, godless atheist football officials group. Mohawk Valley Chapter of Certified Football Officials. The contact page isn't linked, so I'm not going to bother trying to dig for information on them other than, obviously, they're, they're helping to enforce the school's policy of God, godless atheism on the kids. You know, the Big Bang is a godless atheism uh, paradigm, so is uh, evolution. I'm an agnostic. I'm not sure what to think, other than I figure there's one big overriding God up there. And there is no penalty there. Noose site showed a clip of Turo's touchdown to an athletic director, longtime football coach, and football referee for feedback, and none of them believed that the uh, referee made the correct call. There is no penalty there. The unnamed referee who has 15 years of experience told the site nothing occurred. It is not even remotely close to unsportsmanlike conduct. It is not delayed, excessive, or prolonged by any measurement, and that is the standard for high school. What it is, is a symbol, a giving, international symbol for giving credit to uh, Jesus and all that. But, you know, this is the basic godless atheism that is enforced on kids every day in public schools. I don't even know if they're still, can they still bring a Bible in school or is that banned too? I know they can bring a Koran. Well, I don't know if they can bring, uh, I don't know if they can bring a Bible in the classroom still. Probably not. But here you have it. Mexico Academy and Central School District Superintendent Sean Bruno issued a statement after Fox and Friends broadcast set the record straight after an anchor mistakenly attributed comments from the Mohawk Valley Chapter of Certified Football Officials of the School District. Bruno described Turo as an excellent athlete and dedicated student who can be counted on to do the right thing. From my vantage point, I did not see the actions of a student as excessive celebration or taunting, Bruno said. However, I'm not a trained referee and I was not under the pressure of the officiating, officiating the game. Well, there you have it. Now, uh, these uh, godless atheists are in schools, these progressives, liberals, whatever, more like progressives than liberals, who are all god godless atheists, uh, are enforcing godless atheism on uh, students. Now, now it's on the football field. If you're on the football field, you have to be a godless atheist.
This is godless atheism. This is big time progressivism. These people are trying to outlaw Christianity one step at a time. I did try to contact the, Mo the uh, godless atheist organization, Mohawk Valley Chapter of Certified Football Officials, and their site wasn't linked, like I said, so nothing we can do about it. It's just a bad penalty. 50 yard penalty for Mohawk Valley chapter of certified football officials. 50 yard penalty for you. I'm Artifacts of Mars.